Hello everybody, I am Hydrail, and welcome to the speed build of my version of Elixirs and Brews and Glimmer Book. Glimmer Brook, this is my second time recording this because of course the one time I do not go testing testing one two three testing testing one two three as a little pre-recording thing. Uh it doesn't actually record my audio, so here we are again. Um hi. How are you? This is the first time for you. But I mean yeah, I'm doing Glimmer Book, which is a little bit out of nowhere because um and this is a secret to keep between the two of us um i might be working on my own little save file for the sims 4 now i do not know when this is getting done if it will even be completed it's just something i'm working on now i'm working on the worlds in a backwards fashion so i finished um i finished up doing I believe, yeah, I finished up doing Brightchester, and so now I'm working on Glimmerbrook, because I'm doing them in backwards order, which means, theoretically, I should be ending on Willow Creek or Oasis Springs, but, um, I will be the first to admit there is a sizable chunk of, like, 30 minutes worth of footage missing from this, because I recorded it. But it only recorded the audio track, which is useless because this is a speed build and I don't heckin' need an audio track because I'm not heckin' talking while building this. But, um, I mean, you know, it was fun. Um, so I'm not gonna waste, like, perfectly good content just because a couple bit is missing. Plus, like, most of the important stuff is still there. Like, you got the, um, landscaping, which I'm really happy with how the landscaping of this turned out. And I should also mention, you'll see me going to my gallery page a lot, and that's simply because I built a house when Momo Magic came out, and I really like the style of it. And so I was like, I'm gonna base the rest of the town on this style of house, and so I'm going to look for reference to see what do I want to keep similar, what do I want to keep different. But enough rambling about the house, you probably want to hear me talk about other things. Um, but before we go, if you want to download my version of Elixirs and Brews, it is on my gallery. Uh, Origin ID, Hydrail 825, um, definitely go download it. There will definitely be changes from this little speed build here because I have a nasty habit of thinking of things to add or change after I finish recording my speed build and just not recording that afterwards. So like, um, it's like the snack that smiles back, except it's not a snack, it's a build and it's a fan little surprise, you know, it's the surprise inside. That's what I was looking for. But anyway, do any of you guys, like, sleep in weird positions, or need to be in, like, a weird position to get comfortable? Like, this isn't, like, an every night thing, but sometimes I'm trying to go to bed and I'm just having, like, a real struggle getting comfortable, like, and, like, I'll have to get into, like, a really weird position to get comfortable. Like, one leg will be normal and the other leg will be, like, reaching. Ooh, I just hit my desk, did y'all hear that? But, like, one leg will be normal and the other one would be like reaching for the sky you know like trying to make contact with god um i don't know do any of you guys do that am i just weird do i do like weird stretch things um i don't know let me know i'm not a weird freak by myself alone um i mean other than that i've been watching a lot of sitcoms i love the sitcoms my top three are most definitely, I would say, uh, number one, Parks and Rec, love that, number two, 30 Rock, it's by Tina Fey, I love that too, it has some really great songs in it too, that are like funny but also great, and then finally, I'm not sure I can say the name out loud, because even though I'm not monetized, I don't know what the heck YouTube is going to do, and I'm trying to keep this thing like, mostly family friendly-ish, like, I don't know, it's the... So I'm gonna spell it out, but it's C, or no, it's S C H I T T S Creek, or as I pronounce it, Skahitz Creek, because the first word, you know, is pronounced as a big year old word, and we do not use big year old words on this channel because I am not a big year old yet. Which, by the way, in case y'all didn't know, I'm a teenager, so um, I have to take. A lot of classes and as part of that class I'm taking a 2d animation class and so pretty much all of my day is spent up working on that project that is going to be due next Tuesday and I'm honestly maybe halfway done but that might be stretching it a little bit I don't know my program crashed on me earlier today which is 
great. We love that. We love Adobe Animate crashing on us. It saved well enough. Um, well, let's hope. But anyway, sorry. I got distracted. I get distracted easily. Um, that's a fun little fact about me. Oh, you're about to see it. It's about to go, like, to a transition. It's gonna be, like, who we are, and now suddenly a bunch of stuff is gonna be done. Um, yep, here we are. See? Anyway, yeah. I get distracted easily, but recently, uh, I rewatched Parks and Recreation because of their special little, um, reunion thing they did. I think we can all know what it's for. Um, I'm not gonna say it out loud because YouTube is not liking that word, I guess. But, essentially, yeah, I started rewatching it, um, from season two. Like, season one, I love you, but you're a little bit rough around the edges. You know, maybe I'll go back and watch you one day, but, you know, that's not the time, but, you know, that's not the time or place, and I somehow managed to try more watching it than rewatching it than when I did the first time, like, I don't know the logic of that, like, I cried in the season 7 episode Leslie and Ron, um, I cried multiple times during the finale, and I don't think I even cried, like, once when I watched it the first time. And I think the reason for that is my favorite webcomic, Cookie, which it's free to read the entire story, completely free to read. Line Webtoon, go read it. It is my favorite webcomic. It is just an amazing story. And um, anyway, nearing the end, there were some big emotional beats because it's a really hecking emotional show. And I ended up crying, and I swear to hecking God, that just opened the floodgates for like everything, you know? And I mean, like, so thank you, creator of Hookie. Her name is, I believe, I hope I pronounced this right, it's Miriam Bonastre Tur. So thank you. It's because of you that I now cry for, like, everything, which there's nothing wrong with crying, by the way. Like, I don't need to, I don't know who needs to hear that, but, like, cry your heart out. There's no shame in it. Like, I am, I cry, big, you know, like, when I cry over something, like, I am the first to admit it. Like, I'll be like, oh my god, I watched the star finale and I cry. Which, by the way, love star versus the forces of evil. I, um, I didn't cry while watching the finale for that. It was weird. Because, like, I watched the finale for star versus the forces of evil. Star versus the forces of evil. And I didn't cry, but afterwards I just felt, like, really empty and just sad. Which is weird, because it's not something you typically felt for a show. I mean, I didn't feel that way after Gravity Falls ended, which is my favorite show. You know, just this weird sort of, you know, emptiness feeling. And, like, finally, I don't know, like, hours later at night, I ended up just started crying, and then I felt immediately better. So, I mean, crying is great. I mean, on you ever feel bad not crying over something? Like, Gravity Falls was my favorite show, and like I got like in that choked up state. I wanted to cry, like I was ready. I was like, "Okay, tears, you can come down now." Like my, like my door is wide open, but it just did not happen. And I think it was because I was watching it on like the living room with my parents in there, and so you know, parents they talking, you know, very much sort of ruined the mood. Actually, I think my dad was watching the finale with me because I think he not a fan of cartoons but i think he actually really heckin liked gravity falls i don't know i know my dad likes anime but only if i watch it with him so i mean there's that um but i mean yeah and like i try to rewatch it but like i just cannot seem to cry which is weird because it's like my favorite show it's one of my biggest inspirations you know like if you didn't get it before when i said i was taking a 2d animation class i want to become or work into TV animation when I become an adult, most specifically cartoons for kids, because I don't know, there's something about making content for kids that just really appeals to me, and I mean, obvious, and I feel like, I don't know, I have like a dream TV show idea in mind. I feel like most people who want to get into animation have sort of their dream TV show or movie idea in mind. I feel like pretty much everyone has it. Um, very few people actually get to make theirs, which I feel like, you know, sucks, so here's hoping to mine. I don't want to get into mine for various reasons. I mean, it's a while off if it's going to be a show, which, by the way, it may be because I believe I was leaving middle school, and so me and my friend were talking to, like, I think our favorite teacher at that middle school, and he was like, 
you know, I get these vibes and I get this vibe from you two that you two are gonna do just like great things, which is like, um, thank you, um, for your vibes. I, um, thank you. I completely trust your vibes because, I mean, that's a little bit weird. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Literally, the example he used to prove that he just was really good at doing these things and telling these things and checking these vibes was literally that he had a friend who didn't like his girlfriend anymore. Or, yeah, his friend did not like the girlfriend anymore, and so his friend was cheating on her. And so then he, like, told his friend, like, hey, if you don't break up your, with your girlfriend because you don't like her anymore, like, and you don't tell this other girl so you can be with this other girl more, like, things are gonna get bad, you know, like, poop's gonna hit the fan, and guess what? You know, I was right. Poop hit the fan, and I'm like, wow, that truly showcases your amazing instincts. Like, you could have predicted cheating could have ended badly, you know, like, I don't know, maybe it's right, you know, sorry for judging you, like, you are a great teacher, maybe, you know, maybe you're completely right, honestly, maybe he'll see this and see me make fun of him, I doubt he will, because, I mean, do you see the size of my channel, and, I mean, also, like, I don't think he's into the sims, I mean, I don't know, his class was really fun, he did these little simulation things, where he gave us instructions, and, but, like, personally, let loopholes for us to break rules and stuff like he basically did one about how like i think it was feudal or not feudal uh yeah i think it was either i want to say feudal uh i don't know it was yeah uh it was either japan or china i forget which one exactly um but he gave us our roles, and I mean, I was super happy because my role was like assassin, and I was or something like that. I was like, this is super cool. And then he was like, okay, now I'm gonna appoint the emperor, and now I guess I was the emperor, and I just sat around writing haikus. But anyway, I kept getting all these imports from the peasant people, um, and I was like, what the heck are these for? Like, some of them made sense, but I kept getting metal. And from what I was aware that like nobody used metal for anything. And so I went up to him and I was like, Hey, like, what the heck is this metal used for? And he just like winks at me and I'm like, Oh, you know, metal could be fun for make a sword. And then I ended up killing pretty much all of my advisors because I mean using the metal, which I mean like honestly, good call. Because apparently in their character sheet thingy instructions they were supposed to overthrow me. So, you know, like I mean, I guess I made the right call, I mean, I didn't know I was gonna, like, life or death situation, but I mean, honestly, who says being bloodthirsty isn't useful? Like, being bloodthirsty saved my life. Um, I don't know. What else is there to talk about? I mean, this week, uh, last week is honestly crazy. We're getting our, actually, we're getting our eco-lifestyle livestream today, I guess, technically, because it's 2 a.m.-ish, so... Yeah, I guess technically today, and I mean, I am so upset with how they're advertising these things, like, gameplay trailer should give us the minute details, announcement trailers should give us, like, a general overview, like, live streams should not be mandatory to heckin' understand, like, what exactly is in the pack, in the most minute of details, like, they can be useful, don't get me wrong, but, like, a three to five minute trailer is a lot more accessible than a live stream which you have to be there for and if you're not there for then that's like what like three hours to watch i mean jesus um don't mean to use the lord's name in vain use the lord's name in vain and the lord will pull out all of your veins the little thing i came up with i believe it is completely and accurately true and yeah. not religious i do not worry i don't know it's just a weird fun thing i like to say i don't know I'm weird. I guess you could say I'm not like other boys, which, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I hecking, just hecking did that. Okay, um, thank you, thank you very much. I don't know. I hope this, I've been trying to treat this sort of stand-up-y in a sense because I've been watching Marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Amazon Prime and it is all stand-up and, I mean, like, it is super fast-paced and I feel like my mind after watching it start going in fast paced conversations. And anyway, we're finishing up here, so thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Literally anything helps. 
like any little thing for someone starting. It helps. He recently reached 20 subscribers, so thank you for that. Um, stay safe, stay well, and see you next time, whenever the heck that is.